Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Achtung, baby! Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. We're on Turnabout Serenade. Still continuing the day one investigation. The investigation, yeah. We I just saw Colonel Mustard run past the... Uh, the candlestick the candle in the conservatory. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. I, I'm confident we... Unless there's a lot more to this than I remember, I think we can finish up the investigation yeah. in this video. All right, I mean, now I we go back know. to the Gavineer's dressing room. Oh, come on! <laughs> we never know what to do, do we? How about we go back inside the room we were supposed to guard? All right, maybe we should present stuff to Claudier. <laughs> Check it out, it's my attorney's badge. Air forehead. Y yeah? Understand that I'm not Prosecutor Gavin now. I am the lead vocal of the Gavineers. That badge sings a different psalm on a different stage. Right. I wish I had an alter ego to hide behind sometimes. <laughs> I wrote those lyrics, you know. Though it was Lamiwa who gave them to life. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Uh, maybe I should try to write some lyrics someday. <laughs> Jealousy. Yeah, no kidding. Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about that right now. Even I can only take so much in one day. Funny, I always thought of Prosecutor Gavin as one of those cool stoic types. The sort that never complains. How wrong I was! <laughs> to ensure the efficiency and secrecy of our investigation, the bearer is hereby ordered to speak to no one outside the investigation concerning any details of the case. District Police Chief Damon Gant. Oh, I mean, uh, the guy who replaced Damon Gant. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, that would make no sense if Damon Gant was still the chief of the police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was forgiven. After all those years. A sort of pin fastener for attaching things to clothes. Not a safety pin type, though. So if it's not a safety pin, is it a danger pin? I suppose if you stuck it in your eye, then yeah, sure. But you could do that with a safety pin, too, for that matter. Thanks for taking the fun out of my danger pin. Ah, uh, you're driving a danger pin through my heart here. Um, I was wondering if you knew anything about this. The that does it look familiar? Familiar? It's mine. That's my key ring. I've been looking all over for it. What? This is yours, Mr. Gavin. I knew it. Apollo, how can you make that I knew it face? This is the key ring that was. Yeah, I know. Thanks anyway. So where did you find it? Um, actually, the victim was holding it. Like, he was trying to keep it from the killer, even if it meant his life. Wha- wha- what The victim? You mean, Mr. Latouse had my keys? Indeed. Hmm. When will my trials be over? Speaking of trials, I never heard Mr. Gavin wh whine in court like he has been today. Emma was right about the fop, I'll give her that. Paula! Mr. Gavin, maybe we can help. Tell us about your troubles today. I really don't think that's... Tell us! And we'll keep Mum about the keyring for now. Are you blackmailing me, Fräulein? <laughs> Why, like, yes. Oh, we he's are... like, he's, oh, I'm so that. flattered that you're blackmailing me. Okay. <laughs> you were saying something about your motorcycle not starting. And something about your guitar case being busted. You're well informed. You mentioned it a few times. Ah! Ah! It all happened this morning! It's all this keyring's fault! The keyring? It's got all my keys on it, yeah. My bike key, my car key, and the key to my guitar case. Key to my heart? Wait, so this keyring... It disappeared. I thought I'd put it in my jacket pocket. Prosecutor Gavin's keyring disappeared? The entire day, apparently. I had to come to the concert by taxi. How embarrassing. And in order to get my guitar out, I had to break the lock. Wait, this guitar wasn't the one that... The very one up in flames. And right on stage, too. I actually thought that that was part of the show. Crazy. 
And to top it off, Mr. Latusa's life was taken. Nobody told me about days like these. Strange days indeed. You think? What's wrong, Trucy? Well, I was just trying to make sense of everything. First, this heart-shaped keyring gets stolen. Then a very expensive guitar flares up on stage. Then Mr. Latouse dies. Yes, and? Could it all really be just a coincidence? Coincidence? Meaning... Darian, can you make any sense of all this? I forgot he was here. Hey, don't look at me. What do you think, Apollo? Huh? I mean, either Mr. Gavin's having a really bad day, or all of this was planned. You aren't thinking what I think you're thinking. Are you, Fräulein? I am. What? What? Hey, don't leave me in the dark with Spike here. The name's Apollo, but yeah, I agree. Don't leave us in the dark. What are you talking about? Haven't you noticed a connection, Apollo? A curious connection between all of Mr. Gavin's troubles today? Um, well, I've noticed. Yeah, I have I've noticed. noticed. You have? It's the keys. The what key, about them? The keys needed to be used for everything. There was the keys that couldn't unlock the guitar case, the keys that couldn't unlock his motorcycle. Hmm. So those two connect. You haven't? I just don't see the connection. Sorry. Well, don't just give up. Give it a little more thought. Wait, you don't mean this, do you? Oh, never mind. A lyric sheet? The guitar serenade? What's that got to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. Though I wouldn't have believed it if the Fräulein hadn't pointed it out. What are you talking about, man? Enough with the riddles! Maybe it is a coincidence, or perhaps it means something. Don't you think, Fräulein? I do. Everything that's happened to Mr. to Mr. Gavin today? is predicted in the lyrics to the song! What? what No way! But he's the one who wrote the lyrics, so... <laughs> that's true. Look, just think about everything that's happened to Mr. Gavin. Let's list them in order that they occurred. While well, reading this lyric sheet... First, the keyring was stolen. And, my, and not just any keyring, a heart-shaped keyring. That's right, the here! When you stole away the keys my heart held onto so tight! This is a heart holding keys! And next, his guitar burst into flame! Burning on in my heart, fire burned my love away. And then Mr. Latos was killed! Latos? Latos! A toast! <laughs> like a bullet of love, Latos. fire, take my life away. But, but that's crazy! Yeah, no kidding! So everything that happened today, here, this song predicted it all? Or perhaps it was the other way around. Huh? The criminal could have based his crime on the lyrics. But who would go to all the trouble? Someone who moves in mysterious ways, no doubt. I believe you stumbled upon something quite vital. And quite annoying, Fräulein. <laughs> she looks pleased. The lyrics predicting the crime. Clavier. Seems a bit more than just a coincidence to me. I have to agree. The keyring, the guitar, and the murder. The keyring might have been dropped by accident. Yet the victim was holding it. Hard to think that it was unconnected. That's true. Prosecutor Gavin's as calm and collected as ever. So the criminal matched their actions to the lyrics. That sounds likely. Why would anyone do that? While we think about that, I'm gonna get cracking on the biggest crime here. I'm gonna talk to the Borginian Embassy about this Mr. Latouse. Ah, right. Thanks, Darian. That turned <laughs> British. <laughs> what? It... That turned British. Thanks, Darian. Thanks, um... Darian. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm... laughs> No, it's cool. <laughs> I'll leave the pondering the mysteries to you. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> A foreign national. <laughs> That's not the way. <laughs> A foreign national. <laughs> national. A foreign national. Mr. Latus is killed. Seems like that would be the point of all this. But they did more than that. They left us not only for murder, but a mystery! Mr. Gavin sure is irritable today. Maybe this is the real Prosecutor Gavin we don't get to see in the courtroom. I mean, that's kind of nice. 
have the prosecutor have, like, a life outside of being a yes. prosecutor. Because the other one's just like, Edgeworth, I live for the Edgeworth, court. Edgeworth, both Von Karmas, and kind of Godot are all like, I live for prosecuting, and then Godot also lives for coffee. Yeah, but, like, Godot, I could pr- appreciate, like, oh, you have, like, another passion in your time. Francis is like, I have passion <laughs> for whipping. And, and he's actually like, uh, no, I, I have, like, a band outside. And Edgeworth's like, chess? <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough, frankly. If you find any more mysteries, do me a favor and keep them to yourselves, yeah. Yeah. I guess this is all we're going to get from Prosecutor Gavin. That leaves Lamiwa to question. Prosecutor Gavin, do, do you know where Lamiwa is now? Ah, uh, I had her go to my dressing room. With that pianist, Machi Tobaye, of course. She seemed rather shocked by Mr. Latusa's sudden yeah, passing. Yeah, sure. Here's the thing. She... So she's saying in English, and she, they were like, Oh yeah, she studied those lyrics relentlessly. It's like, hmm, indeed. I really hope she's not the one that killed him. Because then, then I have to talk more in a weird voice. <laughs> yeah. The Gavineer's dressing room. Got it! I just like how their ga- band name is the Gavineers. Oh boy! July if Emma, 7th, if Emma's back, backstage we are hallway. Ah! What? Who's there? Curl mustard? What are you doing here? There he goes again. Who is that guy? Huh, Trucy? You know, he did look sort of familiar. So he is a friend of yours. No, that's not it. Sorry, I don't remember. Curiouser and curiouser. Maybe he was in the audience with her, and they were like, Whoa! Matching hats! We could be twins. (laughs) And they're just partying to music. (laughs) That would be great. Oh, boy. July 7th. You were excited about this. I was! And then I realized what I got myself into. July 7th, Gavineer's dressing room. Uh, Lamuar! What? Oh, okay. She can speak English! (laughs) What, What has happened? I heard that Mr. Latouse has died. L- Lamiwa, you speak? I mean, you you speak English? Uh, yes. I was invited here from the Republic of Borginia. But I am not Borginian by birth. But wasn't Mr. Latouse your interpreter? Uh, that... Yes, well, it was Mr. Latouse's idea. He thought it would add to the mystery, you see. Then your pianist is also? No. Machi Tobae is Borginian. He does not speak English. Now, please tell me. What has happened to Mr. Latouse? Why did he... Actually, Mr. Latouse was... Trucy! Ah! Uh? Remember what Prosecutor Gavin said? Not a word! B- but Mr. Latouse is... M- m- l- <laughs> That's how I would say it too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor but Mr. Latus is Lamiwa's manager. That's not fair to her. I mean, isn't she a related party? Precisely who Prosecutor Gavin doesn't want to alert, I'd suspect. All we have been told is to wait here in this room. It is very unsettling. I'm sorry, we're trying to figure it out ourselves. Do you think I can ask you some questions? Of course. I'm always willing to help. She's as calm as she looked on stage. I can't put my finger on why, but I like this Lamiwa. <laughs> what is it, Machi? Oh wait, he has a higher pitch voice than that, I think. Um, <laughs> no, not like Ash Ketchum, the high pitch. What? But you'll be alone. I don't care! <laughs> um, That's what also I was debating doing, was just like making up random sentences. Um, what seems to be the problem? Machi, he's not good around strangers. He wishes to go out for a breath of fresh air. Would that be alright? Uh, sure, of course. He just runs off. This is not gonna end well. Very well. What is it you wish to ask me about? She also has one of my favorite character themes. <laughs> the Republic of Borginia. That's in Northern Europe, right? I've never even heard of it. I started out singing in a restaurant. Then a producer called me. Before I knew it, here I am. You don't say! You know, my daddy plays piano in a restaurant. 
Producers tend to look for talent, Trucy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Phoenix, right? It's just like, oh, he sucks. Uh, he it's sucks. like one burn after another. Don't you stay. Hey, don't you stay. Lamewa, you're not from Borginia originally? Were you born here? Well. Oh, is, is that supposed to be a secret? Image is everything when you're a star. I know a little bit about that, of course. Uh, yes. It is something like this. A contract, you might say. I'm also not to speak anything but Borganese in public. Image is important, I guess. Great! She's gonna go to court and just be like, <laughs> That might uh, not count as public, though. Well, but that's public public. But you have to be a- Either they're gonna get a translator for her, or like- Sure. She's not all image, though. Her songs are lovely. A real landscape painter of sound. A painter in what? She travels the world, turning the sights that she sees into music. That's the secret to your music's beauty, right? You're very perceptive. Oh, I use your songs all the time in my stage act. I don't have to pay royalties for that, do I? Stop while you're ahead, Trucy! <laughs> this landscape painter and sound, too, is an image. Yet without it, my songs would not be so widely heard. They even call you the Siren of the Ballad, right? Yes, in Borganese, Lamewar means the Siren. I fear that perhaps already I am not the Siren I once was. I like well, her. I guess she's. She was the Siren. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, I really like her coat with like the constellations painted on it. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> Could, no, you know what it makes me think of? Okay, if Celeste in Animal Crossing had a cloak. And with oh, okay. constellations all over, it'd be so cool! <laughs> you have to specify which Celeste, because I know three different Celestes in video games. Celeste from Final Fantasy? Okay. Four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, if there's one in I, Final there Fantasy. There must be. I don't know. Final there's Fantasy three. is everything. Um, Celeste from Animal Crossing, Celeste from Celeste. <laughs> um, oh, you played that? I've seen people play it. Okay. And then Celeste from... Uh, prof oh wait, Celeste from the second Phoenix Wright game. And also, so, never mind, four. And Celeste from the that one Professor Layton game. <laughs> wow. Is it where everybody's a robot? Uh, no. Okay, different one. Different one. Machi. Your pianist. Machi, was it? He's cute! Like a porcelain doll! He's very European. I met him while singing in restaurants in Borginia. He's an orphan, yet his playing is exquisite. Soon he came to live with me. It's like a fairy tale, almost. I noticed he hardly leaves your side. Yes, well, he's blind. At first, I hesitated at dragging him around the world. He doesn't speak English, either, does he? He's never left Borginia before we met. I made his presence part of my contract. Machi and I together are Lamewar. Together, always. Thank God she speaks English. <laughs> Mr. Latus was my new manager. New? Yes, from three months ago. That's a pretty short time, okay. Around when I received Mr. Gavin's invitation to come. I met Mr. Latouse in my office. He was to be my manager and bodyguard. Hmm. What? I'm, I'm just, the, the wheels in my head are a turning. <laughs> and as it turned out, my interpreter. I'm curious, because he's dead. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> just, just maybe. Um, and there was a revolver in there. If he's very new, and there's... Wait, I just realized, is the revolver also a weapon from Clue? Yeah, Colonel Mustard with the revolver, revolver in the dressing room. Oh my gosh. That'd be great. I can't remember if the dressing room is actually a place in Clue. Either. No, it's not oh, a Oh, dining room is what dining I Dining room, yeah. Um, but the, the thing that I'm trying to figure out is, I'm wondering... Because she was, must have been in there, because she was the siren quote-unquote. Maybe she knows more. I almost wonder if it's like a self-defense type of thing. <laughs> you know, know why they call her the siren? Because when she was a little girl, she was just like, yeah! <laughs> Oh, I was thinking of like, I don't know. I was thinking of, um, what, what story is it with the sirens that crash? The Odyssey. The, boats? the Odyssey? Okay. <laughs> they I... play Crazy Boss. <laughs> no. I even read the Odyssey and like, it's, it was not, it's not memorable. <laughs> I think it's pretty memorable. It's... I didn't care. He was your interpreter, even though you speak English. Yes, but we were to visit more places than just here. 
We had a concert in Japan scheduled after this one. Ooh! Though I <laughs> fear that that may have been canceled now. I wonder if it's how <laughs> we were going to America in the Japanese version. Oh, maybe. <laughs> this is America. This Remember, is America. people, even though the second case was blatantly Japanese, mm -hmm. this is America. No, this is Japan, California, guys. No, it's like San Francisco. <laughs> I already, I already said I, it has to be canceled. Guess what? To cancel the concert. <laughs> was Mr. Latus from the Republic of Borgania too? Well, he was only with me for three months. I'm afraid there's much I don't know about him. And now, I shall never know. No one will even tell me why he's died. Uh, I'm sorry. Prosecutor Gavin said we weren't to talk to anyone. Mr. Latus was a talented man. The siren of the ballad. That phrase was his idea, you know. I'm happy for him that it has become so well known. The siren. That's what he meant! Huh? Apollo? You are the siren, right, Lamerwa? That is the meaning of my name in Borgenese, yes. It was my name the producer gave me. But why do you ask? It's very important. I had to know for sure if the siren was you. What do you mean important? I'll tell you. You deserve to know. Siren. It turns out that's a very important word in this case. Uh, how? When we found Mr. Latus, he was still alive. What? I heard him say something. His last words. For the 15th time. <laughs> this is only the first time. We're gonna see it like eight times. Oh more. yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Mr. Latus, can you hear me? Ask witness. Hey in there, Mr. Latus. Tell me, who was the witness? The wi witness is Sai. He said siren? Really? It, I was the only one there to hear it, but I'm sure that's what he said. Mr. Latouche said that? Ask the witness. And you're the siren, Lamewa. Did you see what happened? Lamewa? Might I ask, are you with the police? Eh? Uh, well, no. I'm a defense attorney. An attorney? Yet there have been no arrests, yes? Is that a problem? Does an attorney not work for a client? If you have no client, you should leave the investigation to the police, I think. She's not wrong. <laughs> but Lamewa, we... I'm sorry, but I cannot answer your questions. I'm afraid you lack the authority to, to ask them. Dang! For a girl who's not from this country, she knows her stuff. Yeah, Lamewa is easily one of my favorite characters in the game. She's I really feel like cool. I'm not doing her justice. I oh, was that a pun? No, I just <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll say it is. Oh well, I think you're doing a great job voicing her. Actually, okay. Ah, why? If she witnessed the crime, why won't she tell us? I believe we're through here. You're, you're giving her the nice, gentle voice with like this maybe slight foreign dialect yeah. to it. So I think it's doing very well. I believe so. Sure, your attorney's bad. Hey, if only we could show her Trissy's panties, that would be the best. No! <laughs> would you mind taking a look at this Lamawa? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to say. I wish I could help you. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Certainly one of the most pleasant refusals I've had. That's true. Yeah, I'm like. Hey, will you sign this? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Try she signed the lyric me. sheet. That's right. But sign the. She's not gonna tell yeah, I don't us anything. <laughs> I got a gun! Stick him up! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh yeah, also, we can test this anytime we want. So if we ever want, really want to hear his theme song. Sorry, had to show it off. Nah, it's cool with the one guy's forever recorded terrible part. Yep. Okay, let's look at the room that we were supposed to guard. I guess it's fine. Cool. That Wait. doesn't make any sense. Were we supposed to do something? They're gone! Where'd they go? He flew. <laughs> where, where did everybody go? At the, I forgot how much, how many intricacies there are to this. Show her the brooch. 
That reminds me. Does this brooch look familiar to you? My brooch? Yes! Well, it may be mine. Yours, Lamawa? I was wearing a brooch earlier, you see. I must have lost it. Well, that explains the brooch we found. It was Lamewa's. Thank you. I was wondering where I dropped it. So this brooch belongs to her. Well, it was in the room. That begs the question. Is something wrong, Apollo? What was this brooch doing at the crime scene? Eh. Yo. We could... Uh, we could We could show- wait, no, go back, go back. We could show her the investigation request that we got. That's- oh, yeah, where it's like, be quiet. <laughs> but it, it would show that we were allowed to be there. Emma, come back with your stupid snacks! Oh. July 8th, 12.22 a.m., backstage hallway. She's not actually getting the forensic team, she's just, like, bought, like, the Costco-sized fiend of snack who's. Yeah, or the- <laughs> Whoa! Who's there now?! Ah, it's you. Where were you? Ah! Emma! Is something wrong? She looks grumpier than usual. You bet something's wrong! The impossible's happened! Ugh, it's all your fault, you know! Oops, maybe this is about us leaving the crime scene. <laughs> what do you mean by impossible? Well, it's gone! Utterly gone! What's gone? The body's stupid! What else? What? Uh... Mr. Latos's body has disappeared! <laughs> this poor guy and, and so, his last name. And I'm so mad that I keep pronouncing his name wrong. What? <laughs> we literally just checked. Oh, we didn't look over we to see We didn't look over to see if the body was still there. Oh, we're dead, dead, dead. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the person was like, stealing the body. He's like, it's a... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> look. July 8th, Mommy Wise dressing room. Ah, uh, Prosecutor Gavin. From your vacant stare, I gather you've heard the news. I heard Mr. Latusa's body has gone missing. Look for yourself. Quite the pickle. Quite. The. Pickle. How can you just stand there? We have to start the invest- There's no need for alarm, Fräulein Detective. All entrances and exits have been sealed. The body will not leave the building. So, I suggest we go find ourselves a cadaver. There will be plenty of time to ponder the wise later. Well, you seem pretty sure of yourself, Mr. Gavin. Oh, we'll find him. I'm rather enjoying this. Is it Shark Man or is it Mustard? Lava Girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shark Boy Lava Girl, oh my gosh. <laughs> How could Mr. Latusa's body just disappear? Well, you heard the man. Let's get searching. If you can- Oh, if you ever have- uh, the, if you ever forget how to pronounce Mr. Latusa's last name, just call him Mr. Lettuce. <laughs> it's Mr. Lettuce. Hey, uh, I don't know if this is exactly the right time, but... Yes, Darian? See, geeter has gone missing. It was in the dressing room. Geeter? Who's Geeter? That's what I call my guitar! You like, man? <laughs> Your guitar was stolen. This hasn't been a good day for guitars or Geeters. Okay, body first, then guitar. My guitar! <laughs> and if someone finds that guitar, please bring it to our dressing room. Geeter's like a missing person, not lost and found, man. Sure. Oh, sure, that's right, Wayne. <laughs> he must be the most important guy here. Well, this sure is a... What did he call it? A sausage? No, wait, it was a pickle. And it's your pickle! I told you to stay in the room! Sorry. <laughs> Apollo's the worst. Apollo is the worst. She's like, like, hey, can you look after this and make sure no, nothing happens to it? The second she leaves, do, 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 buy ho -hos. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, that was more her. Oh, that's true. Not much else I can say. It's all right. Top priority now is finding that body. You can make it up to me later. Ten bags or so of chocolate snackoos should do the trick nicely. You should watch your sugar intake, Emma. That's all? I thought it'd be, like, way more. The, you don't know how big the Costco-sized bags of oh. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> snack are. They're, right? like... You know, like, how you can go to Costco and, uh, oh... Frosted what? animal crackers? No, 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 no. Um, I was gonna say, like, the little pretzel nibs that are in, like, the oh giant gosh, buckets. Oh my gosh, the giant buckets. <laughs> it's like that, but those for snack Those were the She's best just... stage snacks. <laughs> I loved those. They're, She's like, the like... pretzel rods are, like, um... No, not pretzel rods, pretzel nibs. 
nubs. Oh, I didn't like the nubs. I like the rods. They're the same thing. No, it's just one's longer. Man. But nubs usually are full with peanut butter. I don't like the peanut butter ones as much. No, but, like not. the rods are legitimately like half a ruler length. I want to say. The rods are longer. Yeah, you can They're dip so them in good. choco better. Yeah, you ain't leaving the stage, bro. July 8th, 1257 a.m. Angelina's in the wings. Hmm. Does something seem different to you, Apollo? Something is definitely different here. Let's check it out. Is We're getting the core music all the time. Is something up? That stage there must have been lowered before. That's the tower that Lamiwa and Prosecutor Gavin were singing on. Someone must have raised it. Hmm. I don't see a way to control it from here. Apollo, what about that ladder there against the wall? We could use that to take a look up the top. Maybe we should get Emma. What are you talking about? We have to get see this sort of thing for ourselves. I'm not so good with heights. Stop whining and start climbing. Ugh. How about uh, How about what? How, I was about to say, how about Emma climbs it, but I'm like, oh, how about... She's uh, climbing the ladder. Just... <laughs> 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 yep, yep. It didn't look that high from below, really. But when we got to the top, I felt every one of those 20 feet down. Of course, I wasn't thinking about the height anymore. Not after what we found up there. Yay! We found two fiends we were looking for, and one fiend we never expected to find. Three dead bodies! A dead body, a dead body, and... The body, guitar in hand, and the pianist Machi Tobaye. He's playing the song while dead. Me, me. July oh, 8th, 10.09 uh, a.m., write anything agency. Okay. Wow, that concert last night sure went south in a hurry. No kidding. Why did they arrest Machi? Why? Oh, I thought he was dead. Don't look at me when it's my fault. Machi Tobaye, the blind pianist. Arrested on suspicion of murdering Romain Latouse. I can't believe such a cute little boy could do something so horrible. Truce has got a crush. No. <laughs> I guess they have proof of some kind. Isn't he like 10? He's 14. Who could possibly have any proof of anything of- Morning. <laughs> Morning. What are you doing in our house? Yeah, he's 14. He's only a year younger. Oh, okay. He just looks short. He hasn't hit puberty. <laughs> yeah. Some of us didn't hit puberty till like 15 or 16. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Morning. P Prosecutor Gavin? What a night, eh? I apologize for being so upset. Mr. Gavin, do you know what's going on? Why did they arrest Bashi and why are you in the writing anything on agency? Don't look at him like it's his fault either. It was tough for me too. We performed together that night after all. Yet. Yet. The powers that say that, uh, given the circumstances, it could only have been him. What do you mean by the circumstances? Lamewa was invited from Borghini as an ambassador of goodwill. It is vital that this case be wrapped up swiftly. That's all the powers that be, they, that be want, really. Well, well, those are the circumstances, all right. But what makes Machi the only possible suspect? Air Forehead, you seem to have forgotten that you're talking to the prosecution. The enemy. Ah, right. I think I like this side of Prosecutor Gavin better, actually. I'm not at liberty to discuss the particulars of the case. Especially not to the defense attorney. What? Did you just say... Me? Defense attorney? Me? Me? Charlie Brown? A rough oh, yeah. <laughs> Really? Me? 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's what I came to tell you. He's down at the detention center. He wants to request your services. He... You mean Machi? Machi wants me? He's not setting me up like a media to Yeah. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for, Apollo. Let's get going. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? I'm Machi Tobias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a scar under his <laughs> sunglasses. He flips it up. Woo! <laughs> Uh, right. I will say I don't think he's blind. You don't think he's blind? I don't think he's blind. You're calling that? <laughs> yeah. I, right. I don't think he is. <laughs> Good luck. I'm off to request Lamiwa. Or, question. <laughs> <laughs> Lamiwa. I'm tired of the Freudian slip. <laughs> I'm off to request Lamiwa take me out to dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Even though, like, he's 24 and she's 40. She's 40? How old is she? 40. <laughs> Oh, didn't notice that. <laughs> She's probably, aged well. <laughs> probably would have done some other stuff. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's a little awkward. Right, later. I hope I'm up to this. No, I'm saying I would have done other stuff, not them. I oh, would have oh. I would have voiced it maybe differently if I'd known that. But it's no, cool. no, your voice for Lamiwa is great. July 8th, detention center visitor's room. 
Sup, homie? Well, I just don't get it. I refuse to leave, believe that a cute little kid like that could do something so terrible. You said that already. <laughs> I love the shine that went across yeah. his sunglasses. Machi, everything's gonna be okay. We're here for you. Um, hi. Maybe you can tell me about last night. I'll just see me. I'll just see me. Huh? I see. I can't speak this. Ah, ah, I don't exactly. know what to say. That was when I realized how tough it must be. A little kid like this. In a country so far from everything he's ever known. Um, maybe Lamewa can help? But didn't Prosecutor Gavin say she was with him? Yeah, we're five going out. Five seconds ago. Good luck. I'm, I'm off, off to, to request to... <laughs> Lamewa. <laughs> it's for dinner. Well, for dinner. what are we going to do? That's, um, a good question. I can't think of anything we can do but go with this. And hope for the best of the trial tomorrow. Exactly. Give me, give me Chick fil A. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Give me Chick fil A. That's actually what he's saying. He's like, I'm so hungry, I need Chick fil A. So, how about that? We did all of the investigating before the day we normally do the investigating. That's kind of nice. Yeah. So, that's interesting. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're going to court and. Oh, we're going to court. Yeah, we're going to court next oh! time. Oh! My oh my. Poor yeah. Machi. And that's where we're going to start going over why people have big problems with the case. Look forward okay. to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.